on this car you're going to find two fuse boxes one is here and one is under this cover let's start with the one inside you have to press these two tabs so if you have a fuse here it's for a control unit for the heater of add blue fluid this one is for the data bus diagnostic interface this is for the anti-theft alarm sensor and the gear selector now this one is for the air conditioning controls analog clock heated rear window display unit for the air conditioning tire pressure monitoring system and magnetic clutch relay this one is for the right and left background ambient lighting and contour lighting for the doors also rain and light sensor diagnostic connection port and rotary light switch steering column electronics unit touch screen display control unit also head up display control unit now this one is for the control unit for the front left belt tensioner onboard supply control unit and front headlights this one is for the control unit for information electronics which is this one this is for the electronically controlled dumping unit and control unit for the belt tensioner this is air conditioning blower motor if you have a fuse here it's for the alarm horn and here will be the control unit for electronic steering column lock this one is for the signal amplifier and all the mobile phone connections like usb or bluetooth this one is for the fuel level display and telematics control unit like for example wireless info communication to and from the car this one is for the reversing camera door handle release button and control unit for the overhead view camera then this one is for the interface for entry and start system if you have a fuse here, it's for measuring the add blue fluid. And if there's a fuse here, it's for the all wheel drive system. Trailer detector control unit. This would be for the sunroof. This one is for the onboard supply control unit and front right headlight. All doors control unit, seat heating, and again onboard supply control unit. You'll find this onboard supply control unit if you remove the dashboard on the left side. This is mainly responsible for cutting off the power to prevent damaging them when they are activated for a long time. Digital sound package control unit, trailer detector control unit. If you have a hybrid, you're gonna find a fuse here. This one is for the all driver assist system control units like front camera, adaptive cruise control, parking assist and blind spot monitoring. And in this case, all these functions are protected by the same fuse. Therefore, if for example the parking assist has a malfunction, the ECU might report all these assist functions with the trouble code. This one is for the airbags warning light. This is for the center console, which is this one here. And there are a couple of more functions, I will put a list on the screen. This one is for the diagnostic connection, headlight rage control, cornering light control unit, front right LED headlight, front left LED headlight, trailer control unit, front passenger, driver door, and rear right door control unit, rear right window regulator motor, but I believe it's for all the windows. This is for the all 12 volt sockets, control unit for the right belt tensioner, and this is for the central locking, which is also connected to the onboard supply control unit. Digital sound package control unit, if you have that function on your car, Trailer control unit. This big fuse is for the seat adjustment and all the possible electronics on the seat like massage, cushion fan, electric backrest. Again, if you have a hybrid, you're going to find a fuse here. Rear window wiper motor and rear roller blind control unit. This one is for the clutch position sender, starter relay 1 and 2 and high voltage battery if you have a hybrid. Here basically you're going to find a fuse if your Volkswagen Passat is more luxurious than mine. And finally, this is for the heated rear window. Now let's go to the relays. If you find one here, it means you have add blue system on your car. Here will be for the magnetic clutch relay. And down here, this is for the terminal 15 voltage supply relay, heated rear window relay. And down here in the corner, the relay for power sockets. So now let's go in the engine and open this. So I'm going to look at the fuse box from this position. This is for the ABS control unit and ABS hydraulic pump. Engine control unit, 
exhaust camshaft control valve for all cylinders, oil level and temperature sensor, EVAP solenoid valve if you have a gasoline engine, intake camshaft control valves, EGR cooler valve, turbo blow-off valve and charge pressure control solenoid valve. So the reason we have a lot of functions on this fuse, it's because all these systems are interconnected through the canvas network communication system. Here is again a long list of components, so I will put the list on the screen. Brake light switch. Here we have the control side of the fuel metering valve, circulation pump, valve for oil pressure control, and a couple of more which I will put on the screen. Oxygen sensor before and after a catalytic converter. Oxygen sensor heater circuit and NOx sender. Ignition coils, positive crankcase ventilation hose, glow plugs control unit, mass airflow sensor, charged air cooling pump, EVAP solenoid valve, exhaust camshaft control valve. And this one is for the fuel pump control unit. If you have two fuses here, it's for the auxiliary cabin heating. This could be for the dual clutch gearbox. Brake booster and master cylinder sensors. Hydraulic pump for gearbox oil. And here for the heated windscreen. This one is for the horn. Again, you'll find a fuse here if you have a hybrid. This is for the terminal 30 voltage supply relay, engine and ABS control unit, battery monitor control unit for hybrid, and the data bus interface for it. Engine control unit and starter motor. If you have a fuse here, it's for the auxiliary air heating and brake booster. Heated windscreen for the models with the battery placed on the rear. This is for the automatic gearbox, mechatronic unit, air conditioning compressor and wiper motor control unit. And this is for the auxiliary heater control unit. This is a 125 amps, supply for the fuse box, relay for power sockets, terminal 15 and radiator fan. This is a 400 amps line for the alternator. This is for the power steering control unit and a couple of uses, I will put a list on the screen. Radiator fan, supply for fuse 4 and power steering control unit. These two are for the starter motor. If you have a hybrid, you're going to find a relay here. It's for the high heat output. Terminal 30 voltage supply. This relay is for the glow plugs. And if it's a hybrid, for coolant shortage indicator control unit. This could be for low heat output relay. And here, if you have three relays, are for additional air conditioning control and heated windscreen. Since we have the battery on the back, you can charge it through this port, since this is the positive side and this is the negative. Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Positive crankcase resolution. <laughs> Hydrolyzed <laughs> <laughs>